Sup everybody, Torv you here. 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 And he comes with this really, really neat accessory. Oh, accessory, yeah. Uh, there's a pumpkin bomb. Tilly is absolutely amazing. Spidey Man 2099 review. Sup everybody, Torv you here. This is gonna be a little bit, uh, different. Not really though. <laughs> um, once again, it's, um, Spider-Man figure from that new animated series. Or, of course, what was new back in 1994. <clears throat> so, if you at all pay attention to the, um, announcements I make on YouTube, you would know that this is the, uh, figure I just got. <clears throat> I... <laughs> I don't even remember how much I got it for, so don't ask. But um, overall, I'm pretty excited to be getting him. It's going to be pretty cool for stop motions. And, um, yeah. So, he's the super poseable one, which says, uh, Super poseable Spidey has 15 different moving joints. So, 15 points for articulation on this guy. Um, bend him, twist him, fold him to create those amazing spider poses. So, as you can see, you can do some pretty cool poses. We got a little biography here. Uh, it says, having been bitten by a radioactive spider at the Science Expo, student Peter Parker has discovered that he now possesses all of the attributes of the arachnid and, and became the amazing Spider-Man. Spidey's dexterity and agility have been increased a thousandfold and his natural sense of balance amplified as well, allowing him to, to perform acrobatic feats, which a normal confound in Olympic-level gymnast. So, if I can barely read that, I highly doubt a five-year-old could. <laughs> um, here's the figures, Superposable, Scorpion, which I'm planning to get, Rhino, also planning to get, Shocker, you know, I'm planning to get most of these figures, if not all of them, so... That'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and open this guy up out of his box. Um, just to let you guys know, um, I do my own little unique way to get these boxes done, so I can keep the little plastic folding here. What I do is I just kind of pry my finger underneath this plastic here, and I just edge it around, around there and there, and I just kind of open it up a bit and slide the figure out, and then I slide back in the plastic holding. So I can put them back in if I want to. And uh, right here we got a little pin. It says Spider-Man on it. Uh, that's the second one I've got. And the other one being Doc Ock. And here we have Spider-Man. Now right off the bat, I would like to say that this figure is really impressive for an uh, old figure. As they say, he is multi-jointed. And they were right. Uh, look at this torso movement. I mean, they don't need to be... <laughs> Be doing that but you know it he, he overall it just looks really cool this little hand though is really weirdly articulated it doesn't uh, rotate it's more of just goes up and down it's like he's shaking someone's hand uh, right here you know he's in his classic little web pose thing like he's shooting web which I never cared for for the classic Spidey figures so that's kind of a downside but really easy to get over the detailing is uh, pretty good not a lot of it though you, s you can see some of the back muscle right there uh, leg muscle um, so overall pretty nice figure and he's got a nice representation of the um, well no really nice representation of the uh, 94 Spidey and I just love it and he's going to be great for stop motions. But before I leave with those words, I'm going to go ahead and give you a size comparison. So here we have the 1994 one. And I also happen to have the 1991 Superposer Spidey. Now as you can see, this Superposer Spidey, well no, you can't really see it, but you can pull them apart like that. So that's pretty cool right there. But they took that out of this guy, which I actually do like. But, you know, you can still tell that there's uh, rubber bands pulling them together. 
Um, and right here, I've got 1994 Peter Parker. And I think they're just about the same size. Spidey might be a little taller. And here I have 1991 Green Goblin. It's not the best size there, but... Overall, really nice figure. I would say I'm um, go ahead and pick them up and look forward to the stop motion. See you later.